Here's my take on the I. I don't have any conclusive position on it as yet, and I've been thinking about it for ever, pretty much, as long as I can remember. What am I? Do I exist and in what form? I even thought about that as a tiny kid. I remember thinking that. And, um, so far, I'm reasonably satisfied, and forgive the tautologies in the language, I'm just expressing an idea here. Uh, so far, I'm more or less convinced that the I, well, provisionally convinced that the I exists, simply because the only way for anything to make any sense at all, in terms of perception, um, seems to be experience, qualia or whatever, the experience of something, anything. The only way to put value on anything is to experience something, and um, putting value on something is just comparing experiences. Something has to be having those experiences. Some, there has to be an experiencer for there to be experiences. Something has to be on the receiving end of perceptions. So, probably in a sense that it's very difficult to describe, and uh, language has always failed me. I don't know if there's any real way to, des to describe the I. Um, there does seem to be some um, veracity to the idea that the I exists. And there also might be some insurmountable obstacles in attempting to describe the I, simply because the limitations of language or any kind of communication that we can come up with um, seem to militate against accurately describing the I. In the same way as I've said, describing God is nigh on impossible. Um, we can understand God perhaps intuitively, and the religious tend to say that yes, that's really the only way to do it, or some religious people, I suppose. And I think that the I may have to be judged or approached in precisely the same way. Not in terms of our own um, attempts, or perhaps in our attempts to explain what the I is to other people, but in our um, attempts to understand it ourselves. What am I? Or, take the what out. Am I? Can you really approach that in any other way but intuitively? And if so, it does. if we have to rely on the intuitive, does that make the whole thing suspect to begin with? But if we make the whole thing suspect, then what happens to experience? <laughs> um, it's funny, as I say, I remember even thinking like this when I was too young to grasp anything about the world. What am I doing here? What is this? What am I? I think this is kind of fundamental, and I don't think that it's obsessive for us to think about it all the time, endlessly. Um, in fact, I can think of few more important questions. Thank you.